and welcome to a new vlog. I feel that this vlog is gonna be quite special. I know I often say that the vlog is gonna be special, but this one, specifically this one, is gonna be so special because we are gonna do a renovation of the St. Normal office. <laughs> Here. Hello, monsieur. Hello, monsieur. Ah, so good to see you, buddy. Everyone knows Warner already, so we don't have to introduce him. CEO of Cinormal. Let's walk around and do a full tour of Come on in! So we are here in Stockholm, because I didn't mention it yet. I moved here, by the way, until I get my US visa. He's never gonna leave. I think I'm never gonna leave, actually. Let's start off with this room in the back, which is gonna be, we're gonna go straight to the thing. We're not gonna talk about because we have so much stuff to do over the next few days. So this is where the working area, the magic will happen. It is gonna be full of desks, full of computers, full of screens, full of keyboards. And let's continue this way. We have our main big living space, which is gonna be where, what do we have in this space? So the idea is to have like a place where you really work and then a place where you can be more creative, a place where you can like Chill. get more outside the box. Bring your friends in. Probably gonna have like couches, table, stuff like this. It's high. I was dreaming about having a skate mini ramp here. Mr. CEO is not really agreeing with me. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just that it will take too much space, so eventually it's a bit stupid idea. Then we have an upper part of this living room. It, it, it would be safe. It would, no, yeah, he just, he's yeah. just more responsible. Slowly warming up to this ridiculous idea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see by the end of this video if we make it happen. <laughs> then we have an upper part. Oh, yeah. And I thought about if we also remove one of those or have a sliding, we can have DJ deck and throwing parties and having the DJ on top of everyone, which will look eventually super cool. Continue in this direction. We have a big back hallway. We actually already received some of the stuff as you can see. You might have seen a, ben a picture of Benny on this. Yeah, so this is a big hallway that has nice space where we're probably gonna have, I think we should have like photos of like each step of Cenormal. I totally agree, something like that would be from, sick. Or like some the, of the original collection. Exactly, from the start, like a chronological thing and we leave a bit of space to see like where, how far we can take it. And then let's continue this way. Except it's pretty It's gonna be a bit less interesting this way because we actually stole all the stuff we already ordered because eventually if we wanna make this super quick and efficient, we already kind of took a step ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff. So we're not gonna open that door. Actually everyone and everything hiding in here so we're I'm not gonna show you. Hey! Okay. And then here, the bathroom and the shower. And then if you walk back this way, this is back to the main entrance. So it's like a nice circle thing. So the first step will be painting everything. We're gonna change the whole white color because it's quite awful. And we tried it already. And we might go for something like this. We had a nice little sample going on from Blue House Set. And we're gonna go and pick up a bunch more of this so we can paint everything and then once we paint everything we're gonna start flooring yeah well let's go get some paint let's go get some paint right on okay i think we got the paint now thank <laughs> you blue hosted for hawking us up hello hey bud <laughs> unfortunately or well, fortunately that's the only choice we have right now a cake bike and then a scooter well now it should be okay now we turn it take a left hello guys <laughs> Oh, there we go. Hello. Dude, we need your help. Yeah, we absolutely need your help. We were standing off for the project and it looks like we need some of your epic skills. Can you come? I can see in both of your faces that you have problems. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't come, but I can send someone from the Gamerie. I can send him tomorrow, the best painter if you want. Yes! That, that, would be, that would be a perfect alternative if you cannot come. We would love you if you come, but... Exactly. Otherwise, it would be... Sorry, I can't come tomorrow, but I can send the best. Can you actually send him today? We need him today now. Yeah. We could use him, like, today? yeah. Okay, I will send him today. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Thank you so much for. <laughs> <laughs> so Anders is coming straight after the call we got with Rikan. He literally said we have to solve that, and I'm gonna send you the best painter we have. Anders is here. He's gonna help us and also guide us because we're not really experienced in that aspect. So thank you for coming. Hello, Hello. sisters. Hello. How are Welcome you? Welcome to my vlog. It smells oh, like paint. You. It does. It's in her DNA. Look at this. She doesn't even have to change, and she just rocks it with. You know the... how I grew up? 
doing this? Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> painted, <laughs> painted, your jeans. I painted you don't... my own bedroom though. Did you? Yeah. Also, if you're interested in renovations, this is the reference of this paint. Yeah, I think Yanni, uh, he's better than you, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's probably in your jeans, but he has more training because he's doing it so much smoother. <laughs> Look at this. He's like covering the black in two seconds. How many hours do you need in order to be like a professional painter? 6,400. 6,400. Okay, so one bedroom is not a professional painter. <laughs> I cannot believe that this whole room, literally two hours ago, was completely white and now it's completely beige. And then we have Ellen. Yes, working hard, sipping coffee. Absolutely. <laughs> You're doing the right stuff so I can keep a track of the filming yeah. and everything. Now Ellen is our, uh, should we say, queen of design in C'est Normal. So yeah, she's helping with a bunch of different design stuff, mostly for Yanni. Do you want any croissant or cinnamon croissant? croissant? I'll take this one. This is the good one. Thank you. Yeah. Would you want any little snacky snack? Of course, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna pour some more coffee for whoever wants and then I'll join the... Cheers. Boom, boom. Listen to this goodness. So crispy, another bite. Okay, so backstory of what is going on right now. David here, lift one of those panels just to check in this the conference room, by the way, just to check how much space there was above. And it happens that, whoa, holy mother lord. Wow. It's a full, it's like three meters this high so ceiling. Big. This is insane. So imagine if you would lift this entire ceiling up and then you would be able to have a room with so much more space and also storage up there. How did they close this thing just like this? The pain delivery and Anders is back to make something happen. Thanks, Blue Hoset. Legend for hooking us up with the paint. I mean, we needed a lot of paint. And this paint that we need today is the paint I was waiting for because it's black paint for the ceiling. But the only thing with those ceilings, I mean, you probably know them there. I can show you here. They have a lot of features in them to make them soundproof. You don't want to roll them with a lot of paint because it would take forever. And also it would suck up all your paint. But that's when we have Mr. Anders, who is going to spray the whole thing, which is going to be sick. How long do you think it's going to take? I mean, it's probably going to take longer to protect everything yeah. than to actually spray that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm going to get some coffee. Let's go. And then... Nice to meet you. Same, same. This yeah, is yeah, freaking yeah. epic. Recount from Skill is hooking us up with. Today is like the magic day where everything is happening. Look at this machine. This is what we needed if we want to install some proper floor. Should I carry this one? Yeah, if you can do that, yeah. Yeah. Look at this one. There is a good amount of stuff. I am happy. If you've watched my previous yes, vlog about the renovation at my place in Cannes or the makeover of the bakery also in Stockholm, I'll link these two vlogs up there. You know that when you put floor, you have to you basically get massive pieces of wood and you have to cut them according to like all the corners and stuff. So yeah, we need the first machine we need is the massive cutter. Oh my God, this was... And this is my new, this is my new vlog lamp. Woo! Oh. Look at what we just received. A bunch of smart walls because we were looking for something to fill up the back room here in the podcast studio. Those smart walls are supposed to be, first of all, good looking, but on top of that, they're soundproof. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my wow. God. Okay, this looks super cool. Things start to come into place. That's, that's nice. It's gonna take a bit longer than what we initially, what did we say at the beginning? Two days and a half. <laughs> now we're like a week in. If you didn't remember Nils Kaff from the previous video when we built the bakery, you have to check it out. So yeah, he's the absolute genius that like, he's an army engineer. What did you say, official? Uh, army engineering officer. Officer. I don't know if there's anything in a life that you cannot fix. I've seen you fixing. I don't know either, because yeah. I haven't found anything yet. That you cannot fix. Okay, so now let's cut those panels, place them and see how it looks.
We've been a bit slow on the whole progress because we were waiting for one thing to happen, which could happen right now. Because uh, eventually when we started this renovation, we literally didn't plan anything, uh, which means that trying to order floor, trying to order paint, trying to order everything, last minute can take a bit longer than expected. Let's see if Martin from Bauhaus is gonna give us a good news. Come on, Martin. Martin. Do, 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 do. Martin. Hello, Martin, it's Benjamin Ortega. Oh. Hello, how are you? Uh, I was just curious to see if uh, by any chance you guys managed to get uh, the floor that we uh, requested from, um, from your supplier. Text me the number and I'll see what's on the order and I'll have a look. Okay, perfect. Amazing, and then we can probably track it and see where it is. Perfect. Yeah, hopefully. Perfect, thank you so much. We're gonna have a third gear. Oh, and but I'm is... not sure if I want that. Uh... <laughs> oh, you're getting there. Oh. While waiting for the floor, we have to entertain each other. Oh, a little further here. Oh. Imagine being the neighbors and seeing those guys working on a construction site. All of a sudden, there's this dude trying to wheelie the bike in the office. Let me introduce you, Ostian, our um, helper today. He is a project manager here in Stockholm. And uh, when we asked on Instagram, I'll show you this story right now. When we asked uh, what we could do without ceiling, you were the one replying and saying like, you can come and like see uh, if it's actually doable. So now we're like, checking if it is doable to increase the, the size of the ceiling and also how long and how much money it would actually take. So now progress is happening. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks. Let's say for you guys to take it down if the electrician have done their, their parts. Yeah. Less than a day. Okay. Uh, for the, car the carpet build to build a wall a day. That sounds still ventilation doable. Is, uh, ventilation is really quick. We have to think a bit more about if we actually need to make it happen, but this room would look so much nicer with a high ceiling and so much more usable as well for photo shoots and stuff. So okay. you'll get updated on that. I heard a lot of excitement, so I need to check it out. <laughs> yes. Look what just happened hey! when we were actually taking the order. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Your, by the way, which I didn't introduce before, our COO, yes. and yeah, he's in charge of everything operational, and Absolutely. this is what, yeah, as you always say, getting <laughs> done, like you say. 100%. <laughs> oh, that's very satisfying to see. And welcome to a new day. A new day. <laughs> Where is about to get real because we finally get a hold of the floor because you were in texas before you couldn't come on the few touches we already did in the office but now that we have the floor we can have and now that you we have this transport exactly we have all the kids oh shit. Y yeah <laughs> here i have uh, what we like to call a uh, parent survival bag <laughs> we'll do a quick fix i wonder how long it's going to take you to unpack this bag I'm gonna <laughs> to sort everything you know now we are ready. The uh, delivery is supposed to be scheduled later today, but since we cannot wait to try to install the floor, let's do it now. Exactly. Patience is absolutely something we don't like. I'm really happy because I feel that today it's going to happen. And we also have a cool mission for you. I mean, we also waited for you for that because it's kind of the funniest part. We have the ceiling from the conference room to literally explode. Smash it. Smash it down. So today is going to be interesting. Okay, we're gonna that too. That's why we picked up the stuff uh, for the bakery. The only thing is that that time we only drove back with a bicycle with everything on the bicycle. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Hans. Thank you, Bauhaus. This is much nicer. <laughs> Hello! Wow! This is the floor. This is so nice. Thank you so much. So yeah, this is the NQD floor. And thank you Hans also for organizing this as well. And floors are always nice to put in because it goes from like, it's such a difference so quickly. Yeah, exactly. It's the most satisfying part of the whole <laughs> build. Destroying and putting floor. That's when you see the most amount of changes. Well, Betty actually wanted to take the McLaren. I told him, it's pretty small. Express delivery with uh, 
<laughs> that's like I don't think we can make like it more efficient than this. This is legal, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I mean, mean we're, we're a delivery company. It, this is the only way. First, I, I was like, oh, this is gonna be pain in the ass, but then then you had the creative idea to not go for it. <laughs> you can blame me after. <laughs> Sometimes you need a French idea. Like whenever I'm not in Sweden, I'll do anything. But when I'm in Sweden, I'm like, this is uh, allowed uh, according to the French rules. Okay. okay, so now let's get rid of that ceiling. Yes, that's the one we can explode. I'm gonna be the filmer. <laughs> let's see. I have no idea how hard it is and if there's anything above. Three, two, one. Oh, that worked! <laughs> okay, that worked better than I expected. I was thinking you were gonna nicely unhook it. Oh, no, but, no, 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 I just wanted to. But you. of course, that wouldn't be very Benny. Let's see if I can gently remove it now. And then, down! It's actually not a bad way. You break it, you get it down easy. Yeah. Look at this. It's like... Why did they put it so low? <laughs> That's a good question. Look how much bigger the room is gonna be. First we need to finish to protect the whole floor actually. Oh. When I started the ski academy, they have a bunch of tests. Uh, one of them was vertical jump. I was by far the worst one out of everyone. Like we're talking <laughs> ski, snowboard, cross country, men and women. I was by far the worst. Nice. Oh. Perfect. Wait, I want to try something. Upgrade it with a nice Bauhaus. Yes. <laughs> You start something and then you discover new opportunities. You cannot say no to that. And then there's a, a different floor under the wardrobe, so... Yeah. <coughs> so then we have to remake the floor again. <laughs> One of the CEO has to take the decision, so saying yes to this type of project is not easy because of the cost. So yeah, wardrobe is gonna go down, so when you enter, you have the full height ceiling and... Look at that! <laughs> wait, look at... From, wait, if you didn't remember, here is the before. And here's the after. I mean, what? this is... It's like, it's amazing doing things that is quickly transforming something completely. Yeah. Next time you'll see it, it's gonna be probably blacked out paint. Thanks so much for today. You know, I'm trying to contribute with what I can. Yeah. It's good yeah. to have you here. We might uh, borrow the uh, car once more if we need to bring more stuff in. Probably gonna do more stuff. <laughs> It's a never-ending project. This whole thing is happening because of Ocean. The fact that actually we have a solution for the roof and that's why we decided to open everything. Now you have the satisfaction of being able to smash one of those as well. Yeah, hopefully. He said you can like smash it in the corner. <laughs> that's how you do it. Like without those, this room is like so much It is much so much bigger. Extended. I mean, this is not even like comparable. Yeah. It's like ridiculous, actually. My turn now. I want to try to smash one of those. Three, two, one. And look who we have here. If you remember from the uh, boulangerie vlog that I did a while back that I already showed before here up there in the corner, Lasse, one of Ricard's best friends. Ricard, you're saving our life on so many points. Like from the paint to now the electricity. Yeah, Lasse is an electrician here in Stockholm and I will put all his info uh, down in the description. So in case you need electricity to be down in your place, you know who to call. And we're gonna get rid of that whole panel because it looks ugly and it's super old and the plugs were, I mean, it looks almost like dangerous to just plug a normal thing in because it looks so old. <laughs> exactly. So let's get rid of that whole thing. He's gonna also change the plug to like some really nice black ones because it's always nicer with black plugs. Hello! <laughs> so yeah, let's see how this thing looks after. Ta-da! Look at this. I mean, it's actually ridiculous how, even if it's so tiny, it opens the room. Like it really opens the room to like, I don't know, it gives a bit more space. Thanks so much. No problem, man. Next step is to put the black plug. Today is the day where shit getting done. Uh, and eventually I didn't even have time to film, film this Oscar. So yeah, he's taking the lead of the floor and I'm gonna explain to you if you wanna change floor, because I've already did this at my place in Cannes. If you don't remember this video, I'll show it up there.
and we also did it in the bakery. Changing floor is not that hard actually. So we're trying to like teach you guys a bunch of stuff within this video. So I hope you like it. And if you do, please leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Here it is. This is what we used to have, that sh carpet. If you want to change this, you don't have to tear it down and then place new floor. Eventually, you can just place the new floor on top and it just requires you to clip all those pieces of wood or PVC or whatever you buy basically because there's so many different options you can get and we chose to get real wood because here in Sweden wood is something there is a lot of so if you like this reference this is what it is and thank you again NQD for helping us getting this very 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 last minute okay and one last tip as well is the fact that I didn't know where to place the floor if you should start this way or if you should start that way and he told me that yeah you have to look into where the light is coming from the main source of light is this window the huge window so then the light is coming this way so if you put all the planks horizontally compared to the light you might see all the seams from all the planks together so you have like some kind of a shadow that will appear so you want to place them along like this so you don't get the shadow thanks for the tips tips number one by Nils Oskarbjörk Mr. Board Engineer team late workers is about to leave it's I mean it's not that late but at 8 o'clock on a Friday night you're not supposed to be like putting floor or creating a new room in the upper part so let's go out and uh, yeah have one drink now let's switch to tomorrow Oh my god, it's freezing! And look who is here, Ocean, the legend, is already ready <laughs> on a Saturday. But I have a reward for this, and that's also why I was late. Like usual, on the weekend, it is croissant oh time! <laughs> but these are the best croissants I've oh found in town. Lille Bros Baguerre. If you guys live in Stockholm, you need to check out that croissant. <laughs> First is served, Mr. Ocean. Croissant, coffee, and eggs and bacon. That should help for uh, getting some force for the whole morning. Tell us really quickly what you're basically doing here. You want the floor up here for storage, and exactly. maybe just to be able to do some quick photos and stuff like this. So what we're doing is we're putting some reinforcements, be able to yeah, so these, these beams, big ones to be able to unload the carry from the from the structure flooring, yeah. and then we add structure flooring on top of that, so we get a nice even even close even walk. So this is gonna be the entire storage plus we're gonna be able to. I'm glad you're here because otherwise <laughs> nothing of this would have been possible. <laughs> Morning guys. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> Woo! Croissant. Oh, cinnamon croissant. So you're the reason I've been eating like 500 croissants the last month. <laughs> and I take it as a compliment. <laughs> croissant is healthy for you. It makes you happy. So anything that makes you happy is healthy. Yeah, yeah. We are good. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> See. Uh, do it, take a bite and listen to the sound of this thing. Oh! And the baseboards are painted, I mean first coat, these are all gonna go into each of those corners. Once the floor is up, so basically, for example, here, here, inside there, everywhere. And it's like Saturday, that's how we spend the Saturday. We do have our... <laughs> Our little party going on in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Happy Saturday evening. That's how you do it. Dun, dun. Now I wanted to film because it's that part that is going to be the most satisfying part, which is in a few seconds it's going to be full full wood because <laughs> this Oscar Björk is ready to yeah. crush the the floor, and I'm going to help him with that. And you're going to see the entire progress in three, two, one. Enjoy. Nice! The last piece of the puzzle is in. Done! Three hours and 30 minutes for the entire living space. And now we're about to install the baseboard in black, the one that I just painted yesterday. And there we go. Nice. Actually, let me cut now and let's see when everyone arrives tomorrow because now we have been just us three the whole day. Eventually, like, no one from the team works on Sundays. See you in a second. Holy s***. We have to set them in so long as we come out here. 
and someone did try to break in. Such a horrible feeling.